And so here's part of the trickiness of converting a Cartesian vector into a geometric vector. This Cartesian vector, you're finding it in quadrant two, and we would give it an angle of 141.34 degrees. Well, to find the angle, I am going to use the arctan of four divided by negative five. And I'm going to see what this gives me for an angle. And it gives me an angle of negative 38.6598. In other words, rather than giving me the quadrant 2 angle, because of the limitations of the inverse trig function, it's given me a quadrant 4 angle. And so you're going to have to find a system so that you can identify when you've got a quadrant 2 angle and not a quadrant 4 angle. Similarly, if you have a quadrant 3 angle, arctan is going to give you an angle that will put your vector in quadrant one. So your first strategy is to sketch it out. Your second strategy is trying to figure out a relationship between the vector that arctan is going to give you and the actual angle of the vector.